After taking the championship crown for three years straight, what's next then for the Mercedes-AMG Petronas F1 team? We talk to Mercedes-Benz Motorsport head Toto Wolff and Petronas Downstream Executive Vice President and CEO Arif Mahmoud about their hopes for the team and the synergies between both organisations that have helped to keep the trophies coming. It's indeed a very meaningful relationship because we have uh, gone through uh, difficult times and we have uh, achieved tremendous success in the last couple of years. We have won three constructor championships and three driver championships and uh, Petronas products are very much the lifeblood of our engines and of our, about our car. And this is why as, as the two org organizations we have really grown uh, together. We nurture each other's best talent and uh, we grow in setting each other's high objectives in order to win championships. We started as, as a sponsor. I mean, at that point of time, we were looking at what's the best way to start having our brand known globally because we had a global ambition at that point of time. Where we started and where we are now, you know, if you look at it as a technical partner to Mercedes and winning the last three races, I mean, that's, that's an achievement by itself. Uh, and that's, that's not something that you just get overnight. We are always skeptical um, about our own achievements because I think this is the philosophy you need to have in order to stretch your targets, expect uh, great performance from your competitors, but equally we, we are very confident in, in our people. We know that we have uh, some of the best talent, some of the best engineers in our uh, respective organizations and uh, we function as a team with a great dynamic and great spirit within the team. The development curve of Formula One was pretty impressive in the last couple of years. We have come from uh, naturally aspirated eight-cylinder engines and we have downgraded them to 1.8 V6 uh, engines uh, that are highly efficient. We've burned 150, 160 kilograms of fuel in, in Formula One, you're calculating kilograms. And today we are the 100 kilograms and we, are the, we have the most powerful and fastest cars. So it's technology-wise, it's going in, in the right direction. For next year, the regulation change in, change in terms of the aerodynamic downforce. The cars are going to go even more faster, more difficult to drive for the drivers and more physical. And in parallel, we are having some exciting driver uh, drivers coming up and some exciting rivalries out there. You have two choices as a team boss. You can either decide for a number one and number two status. That means you choose somebody who's going to win hopefully races and maybe championships and the other one plays a support role. Or you can, the way, you can go the way we have chosen to go with equal number one status, which I believe is of benefit for the team because it makes the car faster. There is a transparent and open development uh, between the two of them, there is no secret within the data, there is one strategy and that has created a spirit and an ethos and values within the team that has made us triple world champion. I think it's around uh, creating a buzz and creating interesting stories. The sport is on the edge, those guys drive the fastest, fastest cars on the planet with the greatest technology. But uh, it needs the competition, it needs the rival rivalry, it needs, it, it needs headlines. We are competing against everybody who puts a video on YouTube. Uh, and uh, millennials are seeing crazy stuff uh, through the social media. And this is our competition right now. And we are seeing that traditional TV um, is struggling in some of the areas. Football viewer, viewership, soccer viewership has been going down. Um, in the Premier League in the last couple of games and the same applies in, in, in other sports categories. And I think this is a general market trend which we can only fight if we provide a good and exciting product. You know, Petronas is, is known as a national oil company in Malaysia. But what we want to be known is not just being a national oil company, but the most advanced company in terms of technology. If, if you look at uh, today, I don't know whether you're aware, you know, our lubricant, you can actually get it from more than 85 countries around the world. What you see today on, on the road of our product is from work that has been done with Mercedes, that's translated into those products, that's now made available for everybody uh, around the world. We believe, like for example, the, the, the Premax uh, range of fuel that you're seeing now, 
there's a set of additives that, that will give you the ability to clean a car and also find uh, what do you call it the uh, spray on, on it and give you better combustion you know, and, and also will give you better acceleration actually the, if you look at the, the 97 it will give you the acceleration that you require for the car it will not go as fast as Formula One but uh, but the whole idea behind this is to actually give you the experience and also the car protection required 